What's up, guys? Your boy Darkskin, and we are back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be going over um my wish list for global anniversary. Uh, now, before we get into this video, I just want to say um, I've already pulled two of those units on JP. Um, what I wanted for JP, I wanted to get Jiraiya, Yagura, and the Sasuke along with um, Jugo. But I, I didn't, I didn't pull Jugo. But you know, for global, anyways. These are going to be the units I also wanted to pull. Uh, so we're just going to go over them a little bit, talking about them and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, starting out, we have Body Jugo, which he's actually pretty good. He goes to uh, 28 cost, long range, uh, 1500 attack stat. Uh, field skill is healing, buddy skill boost attack. Sync with body healing, sync with long range healing. His abilities are 15% uh, chance to use no chakra. 100 healing, 15% chance to use no chakra, 150 healing, and then 20% damage reduction. So off rip, like Jugo's actually really, really good. Uh, he's a normal banner unit, which is pretty crazy because um, like normal banner units don't tend to be this good as far as uh, support. Like he's a support unit, which is pretty cool. Um, but that's why I like him so much. He he gives a lot of healing, like. He just gives a lot of a lot of healing to the team. But anyways, going on to the Jutsus, he's 4 a chakra, which is pretty good. Pretty crazy. Uh, 6.7 times attack to one enemy in range, knocks him back, restores 1,500 of own health. So he's like, this dude is like a burst healer, passive healer, buddy healer. He's crazy. And then his ult, 14 times attack to one enemy in range, knocking them back and restoring own health by 12% of the damage caused. So he heals off of abilities off of field skill off of sync skills and off the of ultimate jutsu like this jugo is actually like crazy like with no dupes he still heals off of sync skill field skill and jutsu and ultimate jutsu so like yeah i i really want to pull this jugo if he comes back on a banner or something i might i don't know we'll see um second up we have uh yagura now if you guys don't know about yagura yagura is like really good against skill types he's mid-range goes to 28 again um his attack his strength isn't that high but you'll see why right so he has a 12 1300 you know attack stat um field skill reduce skill damage by 20 to 25 crazy good buddy skill lowers rates of mobilize that's whatever sync with body heals 75 sync with mid-range boost attack by 100 now this is where he gets busted all right first ability increase ninja two damage by one Reduce skill damage um, by 20%. Uh, increase ninjutsu damage by one or multiplier by one. Increase damage dealt to skill units by 30%. And then reduce damage taken by 25%. So he has 45% damage reduction to skill units as a body unit. And then he does 30% extra damage to skill units as a body unit. Not to mention his multipliers on his jutsu are increased by two. So uh, now his uh, multipliers on his jutsu... It goes from 13 times attack to one skill unit, um, and then 7 times attack to all other elements. So 13 times attack, so pretty much he's doing neutral damage to all units. Because it's 7 times here, but it goes to 13 times, but that cuts in half, so it's practically 7. Not to mention, if you have his abilities, it goes to 15 times, so that's like insanely good. So he's doing neutral damage to all enemies on his first jutsu for 5 chakra. Then on his ult, negates type disadvantage. Uh, to all enemies in range, 15 times attack knocks him back. So an AOE Jutsu in a, in a Gates type disadvantage. So he's doing neutral damage on his Jutsu, neutral damage on his ult. Um, he has an increased damage uh, ability on his um, abilities. Like, this dude is insane, man. Like, he's crazy. And, like, y'all don't know, but there's, like, I, I want to say I have, like, some unhealed wounds in Blazing. One of them is my ultimate killer B. If you're an OG subscriber, you know what I'm talking about. My ultimate killer B. Uh, not summoning for Jugo. Not summoning for Yagura. And then the last one, not summoning for Jiraiya. If you guys don't know what this Jiraiya does or who this Jiraiya is, he was the best body unit in the game until Anniversary Sasuke dropped. He is now the second best body unit in the game. Let me tell you why. Alright, he goes 32 cost, okay, vast range, 1600 attack stat, goes to 1700 as a vast range unit, and that's base. Uh, field skill boost attack by 150 to 300, that's pretty insane being vast range. Uh, buddy skill reduce heart damage, which is kind of whatever. 
Secret Body, Boost Attack by 150, Hidden Leaf, Increase Ninja to an Ultimate Ju2 Multiplier by 1, Sync with All Except Body, Restores Healing. So that's really good on like, uh, you like Ninja Row teams and stuff like that. Uh, going on to Abilities, this is where it gets really nasty. Sync, uh, I mean Self Healing, Restores 300 HP, that's one ability. Substitution, 10% chance to dodge, that's crazy. Attack boost by 300. This man has a 2,000 attack stat as a vast range unit, bruh. Then, 15% chance to use Zero Chakra on ult. Substitution, so he now has a 20% chance to dodge. Then, 15% chance to reduce Chakra consumed on Secret Technique. So he's a 30% chance to use no Chakra on his ult. Now, I know people are going to be like, well, why would I have that instead of my first Jutsu? Well, I'm glad you asked. Going on to his... um. Jutsus, right? Uh, he has 7.5 times attack to all heart elements in range, knocks them back. 5.5 times attack to all other elements in range, um, and knocks them back for five chakra. So, and, and like his range is pretty big, so that's really, really good. He's doing insane amount of damage, all right? So, it's a 2000 attack stat, pretty much. Um, and I didn't go over any of their PvP stats because you're not using these two in PvP, but Jiraiya in PvP is actually busted. All right, he does insane amount of damage. Um, I was watching, shout out to my boy Birdo. I was watching Birdo stream with this Jiraiya doing PvP. He was hitting heart units for like 50,000 damage or something stupid, right? So then goes to his ult. Ignore substitution for one enemy in range. 24 times attack and heart elemental damage. Um, 16 times attack to all other elements in range. Knocks him back. So this dude is like a heart killer. This guy right here is a skill killer, and this guy right here is one of the best supports body could have. Like, these three units are insanely good, and I love them so much, and it hurts me every time I think about it that I did not pull. Now, granted, I did save 1,100 pearls for anniversary, and Jiraiya, Yagura, and Jugo are all on that banner, but, um... Because I pulled like two or three Yaguras on JP, and I pulled one Jiraiya. Now, I'm going to be severely hurt if I do not pull Jiraiya. Now, as far as what I want, all right, from Anniversary, if I pull Sasuke, I want to at least get Jiraiya. So, Sasuke, Jiraiya, I'll be fine. If I don't pull Sasuke, I want to pull Jiraiya, Yagura, Jugo, and I'll be fine. Now, uh, if I don't pull Jiraiya, I want to pull Sasuke, Yagura, Jugo. So, pretty much either Sasuke, Jiraiya, Jiraiya, Yagura, Jugo, Jugo, Yagura, Sasuke. So, like, like those are my deals, right? That's what I want. Uh, if I if I pull any of those combinations, I'll be happy. Um, I pulled three Sasuke's on JP, so if I don't pull Sasuke on Global, I'll be cool. If I pull these three, I'll be really happy. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much my wish list, if you could say or whatever you want to call it. But anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell us you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.